I yeah. would <laughs> also ask you, did you like the fact that people were not calling out as much as they did before, that they were raising their hands and that I was calling on them. Did you guys like that too? Uh, yeah, that was much better. So I want to really praise you all for working so hard to be so respectful. And that meant a lot to me. So could I have everybody um, please, I'm gonna go to chat. Make sure you can only send the chats to me. Let's see if I can do this. And okay, that did not work. Let's try one more time. And, oh, here we go. Host only, okay, good. Now, I want everybody to give me a good raise hand and leave your hand up. And remember, that's how you're gonna uh, raise your hand today. And we are gonna do something today that is rather special and you don't get to do this mathematics until you're in college, generally. But I learned about it when I was your age. So that's why I wanna share it with you. Okay, so I'm gonna lower all hands now. And I'm gonna now put up the file. I wanna ask, I want to ask you guys if you know what perfect numbers are. So, for instance, do you guys think that the number 10 is a perfect number? I mean, it's a pretty amazing number. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. now, I love the number 10, but I want to show you guys what happens with the number 10. When we factor the number 10, you can call out the first factor pair. Go ahead. Come on, what's the first factor pair of 10? One and 10. One and 10. Two and five. Okay, now, I am gonna circle a group of numbers that have a special name. The numbers one, two, and five, they are called proper factors. Now, if one, two, and five are the proper factors, can you tell me if 10 is or is not a it's proper not. factor? It's On not. three, one, two, three, go. No, no, no. Right, no. now remember, you can't call out. 10 is not a proper factor. If we add up the proper factors, obviously, what number do we get, everybody? Eight. 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 And as we compare the number eight to the number 10, is it greater or less than or equal to? Less than. Less than. Less than. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we call the number 10, a deficient number. So 10 is called a deficient number. And it's because the sum of its proper factors is deficient. Now, let's try the number 100. Everybody slap down the first factor pair of 100. One and what? One, 100. One, 100. One, 100. Let's Two, 50. Half. Two, Double 70. Half. Four, 25. Now, now, guys, please don't yell. You can just um, say it. Now, don't say the next one. Don't say the next one. On the next one, you know that you can't do double and half. So you go to 25 to find that you have a five times five, which means that five is your next factor. And five goes into 100. How many times, don't say it out loud. I'm gonna show you. If you have five of these, you have 100. 
If you have five of these, you have a hundred. And what is this? Money. That is money. Okay, come on, guys. Let's do double half again. Double Dad, half. Water up. And there we are. Now, I want you to take your pencil now, and I want you to make a big bubble around the numbers one, two, four, five, and ten. Don't repeat the 10. Grab 20, 25, and 50. By the way, is 100 a proper factor of 100? No. Nope. And I want you guys no. now to add up the proper factors. So go ahead and do not call it out loud. If the sum of the proper factors is greater than 100, it's called abundant. If it's less than 100, it's deficient. And if it's equal to 100, it's the perfect number. Don't call it out loud. And you can send me a chat if you have the answer. Don't just give me the sum. Tell me whether it's abundant, deficient, or perfect, please. I don't have any chats yet. You should be able to add these numbers. Uh, I do not agree, Mark, but you have to give me the answer to the sum and then give me, oh, Barum, you nailed it. You nailed it. And you even spelled it correctly. Awesome. I would love for the next person to send that chat. And, and I want to show you a strategy. Uh, Jack, you totally nailed it. Jonah, you nailed the sum, but you didn't give me the definition. Mark, I still do not agree. Guys, if you look at 50 and 25 and 20 and five, what do you get? 100. Isn't that 100 already? And then all you have to do is do 10, four, two, and one, which is 17. And so if you take the 100 plus the 17, what do you get? College right now. Exactly. Now, guys, we know that 117 is greater than 100. So, Jonah, it is not deficient. It is abundant. Everybody write down the word. Abundant. The sum of the Proper divisors is bigger than the number itself. Now, I want you guys to go to a particular page in your packet, but don't look at any other page. Everybody go to page four right now. Now, I asked your parents if you could possibly have, uh, have markers in front of you that are red, blue, and yellow. I, I color-coded the abundant numbers as red. I color-coded the deficient numbers as blue. And I color-coded the perfect numbers as yellow. Now, we have just tested the number 10 and the number 100. We know that the number 10 was deficient. If you don't have a color blue, can you yeah. please just mark it with a D? With the letter D. The number 100 we know is abundant, so it's going to be red. Now, here is what I want you guys to do. It, Mr. Kramer, I don't have the pages printed right now. You don't need to. If you look at a hundred chart, one through 10, and then you can just make your own hundreds chart. Okay, and I'm sure you can do that quickly. Um, 
guys, I would like to ask you for another abundant number. Can anyone tell me if they can choose an abundant number and then we'll prove it. We'll prove that your conjecture is true. Who would like to take a, a risk and say, Mr. Kramer, I think that this number is abundant. And by the way, guys, there are not as many abundant numbers as there are deficient. And there's very few perfect numbers. Um, Mr. Kramer, I don't have um, any colored pencils. And yeah, Baron, so Baron, Baron, just, just, use a D, just use a D for deficient. I'll, I'll even put a little D down there for you. Actually, I'm just using shapes. Yeah, shapes is fine. And then you can use an A for abundant. Okay. Mark, can you give me the first number that you think is abundant? Go. Well, 18. Okay. Everybody right now on their next sheet of paper, please factor 18 and prove that Mark is correct or incorrect. So we have one and eighteen. Come on, guys, we have. Two and nine. nine. And finally, last. Four. Not four. Four would have to six go. Six and three. Four. Remember, that four times four and a half is 18, but four and a half is not a factor because it has to be a whole number. Say it again. Six times three. Well, yeah. we would say three times six because three goes into nine. And if you follow that method, you'll never miss a factor. Now, Mark said that this number is abundant. And I have one way of thinking of this, guys. Do you see that nine plus nine is already 18? Mm -hmm. And we know that we have three more than 18. So therefore, it must be abundant because 21 is greater than 18. Now, here's what I want you guys to do. Mark the number 18 abundant, and then I'm gonna give you a lovely challenge. I want you to find the first two perfect numbers. You are not allowed to look at any other page in your packet. You are not allowed to look at any, excuse me? Um, am I allowed to, um look up a hundreds chart because I don't have one. And uh, if, if uh, Bayram, just, uh, just write the numbers one through, a, I mean, Bayram, just look at my screen. Oh, okay. No, and no, I thought is. you were gonna stay on that blank. No, no, no. There you go. So, and, and you can just follow that. So you're not allowed to look at anything else and your job, your job right now is to find the first two perfect numbers, which are by the way, on this list. And I'm also going to mark, guys, I'm going to mark the number 18 in red because it's abundant. And by the way, if you find a perfect number, search for the next one and send it to me in a chat. If you have trouble factoring a number, please raise your hand. Well, does somebody have a question? And I want everybody to unmute themselves. So if you have a question, then you're able to ask it right away. That would be really that cool. Would be really cool. <laughs> Gabby, you have a question, love. Go ahead. I have trouble factoring. The one, the factor after two, 
times 25 because I'm seeing a 50, about 50. But Gabby, start with the number you're factoring. What number are you factoring? 50. Oh, 50? Okay, so one in 50. Yeah, I did that one. I got two and 25, but then I don't know what comes after two and 25. Look inside the number 25. What do you see inside the number 25? What times what? Two times five. Well, would it be five times five? Oh yeah, five times five. So, so Gabby, your next number is five. And five goes into 50 how many times? 50 divided by five is? Um, uh, ten. Absolutely. So guess what? Gabby, you are ready to determine if 50 is deficient, perfect, or abundant. Now we're going to go to Camilla. Camilla, what's your question? Can you, can you explain what a perfect number is? Mm. Let's say, Camilla, that you added up 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 25 plus 10. And let's say that it equaled 50. Camilla, that would be a perfect number. So a perfect number is when the sum of the proper factors is equal to the number itself. Barum, awesome, awesome job. Well, perfect Barum found the first perfect number, everybody. Now try to find another one. Mark, do you have a question? I don't have a question, but I think I found the, the first um, perfect number. Well, you should have uh, sent it to me in a chat. Now, Olivia, Olivia, guys, has made a conjecture that the number one is perfect. Yes, Olivia? Olivia? Yeah. I already checked one as well. Olivia, where are you? 20's column. Olivia, did you try number one? You try okay, Olivia, can I hear you? Can you speak and say Olivia, what you. number you factored and if it's perfect? Hi, I can't hear you, Olivia. I did. And what did you find? Yeah. Olivia, what did you find? Olivia, what did you find? Olivia, would you would you share what you found? Can you hear me? Olivia, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Just give me a thumbs up. Okay, now, a question. what number did you factor? Say again. One. One, okay. Everybody factor the number one, which gives you one and one. Can we circle any of these numbers, Olivia? Are any of these numbers proper factors? And really, the sum of the proper sum of the proper factors is zero. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody has feedback on their line. I'm going to mute. Yeah, Zach, it's you. So, Zach, you have to keep yourself muted because you got the feedback. Um, zero is less than one. So, one is deficient. So, really, really good try. Wow. Mark found the first perfect number along with Barum. And then Barum found the second perfect number. Amazing. Oh. Keep going, guys, and record every number as abundant, deficient, or perfect. And Gabby, go. Mm -hmm. Gabby, you'll have to unmute yourself. So I was having trouble factoring nine. I was trying to factor nine. And the first one is one and nine. But then I I don't think you can divide, divide nine equally. Well, but did you try maybe an odd number that might divide into nine? Uh, I don't exactly know what you mean. 
Well, I mean, if, if, like I would try, well, two, you can't do two because it's odd, but maybe like Jack is giving you a suggestion. Jack, why don't you say it out loud? Three. So Gabby, why don't you try the number three? Oh, so three times three would work because- Right. And, and you only add up one plus three because you only have one uh, one of the threes is considered a proper divisor. By the way, Jack, can you take off your uh, virtual background because um, I don't allow anybody to do that. I appreciate it very much. Now, Claire, what was your, what numbers did you come up with, Claire? And Claire, you're gonna have to unmute yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I are, thought are there two factors of two? Wait, wait, wait. Somebody's speaking well, in the think, middle of my conversation with Claire. Go ahead, Claire. Um, I think the numbers are two and three. What do you mean the numbers? Do you mean the perfect numbers? Yeah, the perfect numbers. Now, can you please factor the number two? Um, uh, so one plus one. No, no, no. Factor means one, one times two. Yeah, one times one times. And which of those two numbers is a proper factor? Um, two. No, the number Nine, itself cannot be a proper factor. So only the number one. And since one is less than two, it is deficient. And so is the number three, Claire. So keep working it. Keep working it. All right. Now, I would like for um, Mark to share the, per the first perfect number that he found. And everybody write this down right now. Go. Well, the first perfect number I found was the number six. Everybody write it down, guys. One and six and two and three. Add the proper factors, and what do we get? Six. six. So guess what, guys? Six is the first perfect number. Now, I would like you to mark that in yellow on your page. And Barum, I want okay. you to give us the second perfect number, please. Go, Barum. 28. Everybody write it down. Go. 1 and 28, 2 and 14, come on. 4 and 7. And add up. Now, the beauty of this, guys, is that you can add up 14 and 4 to get, 20, to get 18, and 7, 2, and 1 to get 10. And that gives you 28 equals 28. We just found the first two perfect numbers. Now, let's go back to our chart. By the way, um, I'm going to color in yellow right now. I'm going to color in yellow the numbers 6 and 28. Miss, uh, Mr. Kramer? Sir. Are there a very easy way that helped me skip uh, was, well, one thing I did at the beginning to find, uh, well, at first what I was doing was I was counting every number in order, but that took a really long time to find the factors. And I knew eventually it would get harder and harder to find all the factors. So I started just picking random numbers. And then, um, and then I also, whenever I got a prime number, I skipped it because I knew a prime number wouldn't be a perfect number until eventually. Wait, 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 but, but who, can, who can add to that right now? Who can tell me all prime numbers are what? Come on, uh, everybody, everybody stop working for a second. Wait, wait, Barum. Everybody raise your hand if you have an answer. All prime numbers are what? Are they perfect? Are they abundant? Or are they deficient? Tess? Deficient. And guys, I believe that she is correct. Everybody color in blue the prime numbers on this list. Can we say them out loud? Let's do it together. Ready, go. Two. 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 
Three, Three. five, seven, eleven, of uh, four, uh, thirteen, thirteen, seventeen. Guys, anybody? 19. You guys can help too. Nine, oh, no, no. No. Twenty-one. Yeah, nineteen. And then twenty. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Twenty-five. No, twenty-five is 29. five times five. Twenty-seven. Twenty-nine. No, twenty-seven is three times nine. Twenty-nine 29. is the next prime number. Now, don't nobody call out the next one. Think of the next prime number after twenty-nine. On three, one, two, three, go. Thirty-one. 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 Thirty-seven. And. Good. Don't call 39. it out, please. Don't call it out. On three. One, two, three, go. Uh, 41. 41. Good. On three. One, two, three, go. 47. 47. 47 is prime, but it's not the next one. Who can say somebody else? Say the next one. 43. 43. Good job. Don't call the next one out. On three. Come on, Ashley, you got to help me out here. One, two, three, go. 49. 49, uh, 49 is seven times seven, folks. Oh, right. 51. Say again. 51. 51 is three times 17. Come on, raise your hand if you think you know the next one, please. I'm looking for hands. I've got one up. Come on, Penny, next prime number. On and three, one, two, three, and? 53. Good. Now, I'm just going to go through the rest of them really fast. So if you guys want to just circle 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, and if I'm going too fast, you can just look and see what I'm coloring in blue. 83, 89, and 97. Now, Barum, you were, you were describing how you arrived at 28 and yes. saying that you eliminated the prime numbers. Okay, so go and to then, the next concept. Wait, so, so what I was gonna say is after that, what I did was, I split it into 50 so that it's not, you know, too crazy. Then I do the other 50 later. But I kept on picking random numbers that were under 50. Well, and I, and a lot of them. That's not, really, that's not really a method, right? That's kind of like you got lucky. But can you come up with a method is the question. No. Uh, I mean, not that I can come up with right on the spot right now. So. Well. I like the fact that you tried. Now, would anybody like to see the third perfect number? And the third perfect number is nowhere near your list. You're gonna have to test, yes? I know what it is. Did you look at my, uh, the, the packet? Is that how you know? Did that or she looked Tess, it up? did you look, Tess, unmute yourself, please. Everybody unmute themselves. Tess, did you look at the packet? H how did you figure that out? Tess, can you unmute yourself, please? Give me a thumbs up if you hear me. If you can't hear me, okay. So unmute yourself right now. Good. And how did you figure that out? Tess, do, Tess can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Give me like a thumbs up. Okay, good. So how did you figure out the next one? Okay, so again, guys, do not look ahead in the packet because then you don't get to discover. Now, this is kind of cool. And Tess, if you want to share how you figured it out, I would love to hear. I want you to look at this email address. Hold on. Whenever I send your parents an email, it contains the third perfect number. 
196. 196, yeah. Now, Tess, was that the one that you were thinking of? Give me a thumbs up if that was the one you were thinking of. Or if you were thinking of a different one. Tess, can you hear me? Can you unmute yourself, please? And James, can you unmute yourself and Jonah unmute and Claire unmute and Zach un oh no, Zach, you don't you can't unmute. Um, all right, good. So Tess, how did, is there a different number that you were thinking of? Okay, so next time I really want to hear from you. I want to hear that beautiful voice. Now, I want everybody to see if they can prove that it's correct. So let's do it together. Are you ready? One and 496. Now, who can divide 496 in half? Two goes into four how many times? Everybody say it out loud. Once or twice. Once. Two goes into nine how many times? Say it out loud. Zero. Two. No, no, no. Two goes into nine. Five. Not five, yeah. that's 10. Come on, Penny, do you have it? Penny, Penny. Oh, two, two, two goes into two, nine, two, how many two, times? Two, two, two goes Four into times nine. with a remainder There's of what? Remaining of one. Yes. Two goes into 16. Do you see how it's now become a 16? Yes. How many times? Um. Oh Zach, God. you can say it eight. out loud. You can unmute yourself, eight. say it. Eight. Go back to mute. Eight. eight. It's eight. So everybody write down two and 248. Now the next one's going to be much easier because every digit in this number is even. So come on, guys. Four and what? Well, uh, 124. Four. Okay, let's do it again. Eight and? Come on, what's half of 12? What's half of four? Go. 62. 62. And, and 16. And what's half of 62? 31. Now, I want you guys to take a journey with me. Are you ready? Let's mm -hmm. add up one plus two. And what do you get? Three. Three. And three. three plus four. Seven. Which is one less than eight. And seven plus eight. Fifteen. Which is one less than 15. sixteen. And fifteen plus sixteen. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Add thirty-one and thirty-one. What do you get? Sixty-two. Sixty-two. Add sixty-two. And 62, and what do you get? 124. Add 124 and 124, what do you get? 248. And add 248 and 248? 496. Wow. Now, that is the third perfect number. Now, we're going to do one more, and then I'm going to show you the biggest perfect number that exists today. Are you ready? The fourth perfect number is the number 8,128. Everybody factor that number right now. Go. Oh, goodness. Come on, pick up that sentence. I don't want to. I don't want to. Go, please please don't, don't say that out loud. Just get to work because everybody's working it. You're going to be amazed at how easy it goes. If you use my short division method, you will be so happy because you'll be able to divide any number by two. Bless you. And by the way, that first one was the hardest then they get much easier. Three, no. Four, 32. Please 
don't call it out. Thank you, Mark. If anybody has a question, I'd like to hear from you, Sabrina, maybe, or, oh, Gabby, you have a question. My question is, I'm having a little bit of trouble factoring. Oh, actually, never mind. Well, wh which one, honey? Maybe maybe it can be helpful. I was helpful. having trouble for a second with um, factor, um, the, one, the one after four to four hundred, four, with 2032. I was having trouble with that one, but then with 32, I figured out what's half of 32. Oh, but you know what? Can I, Gabby, watch this. Two goes into two once, two goes into zero, zero, two goes into three once with a remainder of one, and two goes into 12 six times. The way I did it for, then I just did it quickly. I know 15 goes into, 15 goes into 30 twice, and one goes into two once. So I know 15 plus one is 16. Yeah, nice job. And guys, the next one is 16 and 500 and eight. And then keep going. Come on, 32, 32 and, and 20. Oh, no, no. Two, what am I saying? Sorry, what's happening? What's happening? 25, uh, 254. Hey, Penny, are you working this problem? I don't really see you writing. I see you in a box somewhere, but it, you, it would be great if you kind of got ready and got into it and started writing. That would be awesome. And half of 508, let's look at that. We're gonna divide 25. that by two. No, not out oh. loud, not out loud, not out loud. Two goes into five twice, remainder of one. Two goes into mm -hmm. 10, five times. Two goes into eight, four times. Oh, and Mr. So Kramer. 254. Mr. Kramer? And, yes, sir. How I did that is I just took half of 50 and then half of eight. Yeah. So well, half of 50, you really want to be thinking about half of 500 and then half of eight because okay. it's not, it's only, it's 50 tens, but it's not the number 50. So just, just, okay. just to clarify. Um, but I like, I like the strategies, all good strategies. Two into two is once, two into five is twice, remainder one. Two into 14 is? And there we are. Now, if you were to add up all of these numbers. No way I'm doing that. They would, oh, why not? Those are the coolest numbers. So I'm even gonna write them down for you. You could literally write down, and this is really fun. 4,064, 2,032, 1,016, 508, 254, 127, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16, 32, and 64. So now all we have to do is add up the ones column, which you know that I love to find my tens. And I find so many tens here, guys. They're all over the place. What I did was I split up the, 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 the smaller numbers from the bigger numbers. So. Yeah, that's one way of doing it. And I just love to find tens and remainders. So guys, how many tens did I find here? 
Five. One, two, three, four, five. And so what do we get? 58. And then, oh my God, guys, you see this beautiful 10 right here in the tens? Yep. And do you see the another one, six, three, and one? Yep. So that's 20. And then, oh my God, five and five is another. So that's 30 what? 32. 32. And three plus five, well, five, three, and two make 10. And one more makes? 11. 11. And one, four, two, and one make what? 27. 27. 11. Come on, one, four, two, and one. Oh, wait. Come Seven. on, guys. Seven. No. Eight. That's, it is eight. And you have just proven the fourth perfect number. Now, I want everybody right now, please. Everybody right now, go to this very, very special page. Mm -hmm. And the special page is page number three. Wait. On page number three, I omitted the first four perfect numbers because I wanted you and I to discover them together. You discovered six and 28. And through my email address, the third one, and the fourth one. But I want you guys to look at the size, the magnificent size of the other numbers. The fifth one is in the millions, 33,550,336. The sixth one is in the what? Come on guys. The sixth one is in the what? You can say it out loud. Brilliance? It's, Brilliance. it's eight and a half billion. Oh, I thought you were talking about the seventh one. And the next one. Mr. Is Kramer. Also in the billions, but it's 137. Yes, sir. Can we talk about how the last number is a, literally a JavaScript for a website? What do you mean the last one? The last um, number in this list. Oh, you mean the 51st? Yes, it's literally a JavaScript for Amazon. Well, and it is, guys, because this number, which has 23 million digits, 2 to the 89th power minus 1 times 2 to the 88th power, that is literally the largest perfect number ever found there are only 51 of them in existence. So they're so incredibly special that I want you guys to learn them, but I also want to show you the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, even the 10th number. Can we put commas in the 10th number, guys? Why don't you put commas in the 10th and let's see if we could name the number. I don't know if we'll be able to name it. I might not have all the names for all of these place values. So did you guys put the commas every three from the right decimal? All right. The 548 represent what? Come on, guys. Come on, everybody. The 548 in this number represents the what? Come on, Jack. Come on, Claire. Come on, Donna. It's the millions. The 321 represents the? Billions? The 997? Billions. Trillions. Trillions. The 130? Quadrillions. Quadrillions. The 638 quintillions. The 303 sextillions. The 84 septillions. Billions. The 300, please somebody turn that off, whoever's got that phone doing that Octillions. 
The 378 is octillion, Octillions. nonillion, deca, n deca, do deca, tri deca, quad deca, quin deca, and sex deca, ilion. 191 sex deal, sex deca. Alien, really, really wow. awesome number. Now we are not going to do it for the eleventh or beyond. <laughs> but can you look at the fifteenth? Uh, I cannot even believe that I was able to get all those digits on a page. Okay. I don't even believe that you took the time to do that, unless you copy pasted it. Well, I cut and pasted some of them, but I wasn't going to try the twenty-three million digits. No yeah. way. Now. I want everybody right now to go to page four again. And I want everybody to try to find a pattern for the sum, the sum of the proper divisors of 12, 24, 36, I already see a pattern. 60, 72, 84, and 96. So I want you, for instance, 12 would be 1 and 12 and 2 and 6 and 4 and 3. And so your sum would be 16. 16 is greater than 12. Therefore, we know that 12 is abundant. But I want you to try to find a pattern with all multiples of 12. So go ahead and get to work. And if you have a question, and remember, the best person on this page right now asking questions is Gabby. When she has a question, she asks. And if you don't ask, Come on, you are missing a great opportunity. Go ahead, Mark. You have a question? No, oh, I was going I was going to tell that all the abun oh well all the boon numbers I have are um even. Oh that's a very interesting observation. What about you, Barum? Um uh why why are all the numbers you gave us? How come all of them are multiples of 12? Those are the ones I want you to explore right now. I want you to find a pattern. Penny, are you working on this? I don't see you writing, Penny. I, I want you to write down the factors of 12, of 24, of 36, of 48, and then add the uh, proper divisors. Really important. I see, I see Asher working. I don't see your hand moving that much. Uh, Tess, I see Tess working. I see James working. Zach, I don't see, but I think he maybe is, his head is down and that's why he's working. Isabella is definitely working. Penny is now working. Caroline is working. Mark is definitely Penny, David. Claire, I, I, I think is working. Bayram and Jack and Sabrina and Camilla and Olivia and Jonah. Awesome. And Gabby. Everybody is doing their job. I'm going to go to the restroom for one second. When I come back, I want to hear some of your ideas. So everybody be respectful. And let's see if I can just... I'm going to mute everybody for just a minute. So keep yourself muted, please.
So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to unmute everybody. So let's cancel that. I'm 30 plus six. Mute all. Okay, awesome. Now, who, oh, Gabby, you have a question. Go for it. Um, I'm having trouble factoring um, 36. Now, where did you hit your wall, Gabby? One after in 36. Four times nine, after four times nine, put out three and three. Yeah, so three is your number. And three goes into 36, or 36 divided by three is what, Gabby? Um, Come on, three goes into three once. Three goes into six. Say it out loud. 12. And double and half. Oh. Come on, okay. everybody say it. Six and six. Miss, and, Mr. And, Kramer? Well, hold on, Barum. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna finish with Gabby and then I can call on the other people that have their hands up. Gabby, do you are you clear now on that? Yes, thank you. Okay, great. You're welcome. And Mark, you had a question first and then and then Barum? I don't have a question, but I finished after I did all the factors of twelve. How many I factors that are there? They, I noticed that they were all um a, Abundant. They're all, they're all abundant. Abundant. Whoa. Yeah, me too, I noticed that. And that's Bayram, what is that what you figured out? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say the same thing. Now guys, can we end class with an amazing thing that I discovered this week for the first time? So I've sure. been looking at perfect numbers for many, many years. And I was looking I at was a looking pattern at for multiples of 12, and here's what I found. Are you ready? When I did the number 120, help me out, two and 64 and 30, 8 and 15, 3 and 40, double and half, 6 and 20, 12 and 10. 12 and 10. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. And come on, 24 and five. 24 and five. And guys, you would not believe what number I came up with. Are you ready? You ready for this? Yeah. What is 60, 30, and 10? 100. 100. What is, uh, wait, wait, let me do this in a different color. What is 40, uh, 40 and 20 and 30, 40, 20, and 30. Wait, how did you get 30? 15, uh, 15 and five, 15 and, I mean, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 40, sorry, 40, 20, and 20, sorry. Um, 80. 80. 80. And do you see another 20 at 8 and 12? Yeah. Okay, so, so far, do we have 200? Mm -hmm. And yeah. 24 and 6 make 30. Mm -hmm. And 3, 4, 2, and 1 make another one. Our sum is exactly double the number itself. So I actually call this super abundant. It is a super abundant number. And I don't know if you can find any other numbers that are- Has somebody, super has somebody already discovered this? Well, I don't know. I just, I, you know what? All I was doing was playing with numbers. I can bet you, a, uh, I can bet you the biggest perfect number that I was not the first person to discover that, okay? But I discovered it independently and I would love for you to do the same thing. So this packet has so many challenge questions in it. I hope that you love perfect numbers as much as I do. 
And if you really want to learn more, next week I have already devised a plan to take us to the next level. Now, guys, remember, always practice, practice, practice. But people tell us that practice makes perfect. But then I found out that nobody's perfect, so I stopped practicing. That's not true at all, okay? I never stopped practicing, and the only thing that is perfect are perfect numbers like what, guys? Come on. Dot dot dot. Oh, Jonah, you have a question, buddy? Jonah, do you have a question? Yeah. Um yeah. Oh uh, yeah, doesn't uh Jonah, I think you hit um mute, which is doesn't doesn't um the sum for 120, uh, the factor is equal to 230? 240. Oh, you, oh, you got 230? Yeah, I got 240. If I was wrong, can you please help, help me and send me, send me an email through your, through your mom? Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. I have to go. I hope you guys had a great week exploring perfect numbers. By the way, Isabella, that is a perfect dog. So I, I'm wrong. Numbers are perfect, and that dog is perfect. I just want to say that. Um, and if anybody else has a cute dog, maybe we can find another perfect dog. Oh, Jack's um, Jack's sunglasses are perfect. So Me? I just want to say that. All right, guys. I got a new dog. Here's my dog.